How you doing? Uh, I'm James Renteria and right now we're going to go over a real simple quick video. Now this is an impromptu video and we're going to have better videos coming down uh, more in depth. But we're going to show you how to set up uh, our EDC packs and all the various options that come with them. So first off we have right here is this is our Punisher pack. This is our larger pack. All the packs maintain the same format. So they're basic same size uh, function features they just come in different sizes to allow for bigger equipment on the outside of the pack shoulder straps now the reason why the straps are sewn on this way is because it actually distributes more weight evenly it keeps the back up off the small of the back so if I'm carrying a heavy load steel plates uh, ammunition firearms it's actually very comfortable to carry plus the way that it is sewn on this is very hard to tear this piece right here um, because this is a very strong stitch, the way that this is added on there. Now, one of the things that's key to our packs, this is our sleeve right here. And if you notice, you have a handle on both sides. This is designed so very rapidly, I can take my hand, slide it through, and grab it like this. So I actually have the straps helping to hold the weight of the pack, and I have a shield, so I can hold it up like this, use it for cover. If I'm shooting around it, just like this, hold on, let me try this for my assistant. Um, so what we have right here is our uh, airsoft pistol. There you go. So with our airsoft pistol, if I were to draw, I can actually brace between the pack and the gun so I have a ballistic shield, and I can use this however I need to to either get into cover and engage my threat. Um, thank you. It's hard to find good help these days. So we have heavy duty straps on the top and on the sides. Now the great thing about also having these handles on the side is if I grab this like this and I use it to cover myself as I run into cover um, or whatever the situation may be, I have several contact points. We do have the uh, cutout for the hydration systems. And right here, we have this pouch. Now right now there's a stiffener inside, so this just makes sure that the pack has a little bit more form and, and it sits comfortably. Uh, we put laptops, uh, tablets, all kinds of stuff in here. And we even have in development um, this same plate and a ballistic panel. So you can use just this panel inside and take full advantage of the shield feature. Going uh, from the back to the outside of the pack, main compartment is your first zipper, and then you have these outside pouches right here. Now this one, and we'll show you this in just a second, has an outer uh, patch right here, Velcro, that you can put a holster in. So your Velcro, your holster on, you can reach around and draw out. And you see I have a smaller pouch here. Now if you see the size of these pouches, so this bag holds an enormous amount of space and you can see the equipment inside. So let's uh, get started and we'll show you how all this works. All right, so this is the bag opened up. You have Velcro uh, on the inside and we did this for a few reasons. Now, anything that's on the market that is Velcro backed, let's say this was a magazine pouch, I can just slap it on, and if these were my magazine carriers, I have magazines in front. I even have placarding that I can put on anywhere inside the vest. If I'm very low pro, say I have a pistol on my body, extra magazines, uh, I can keep this pack as slim as possible while still being able to put multiple placarding uh, front and back on the pouches. Now, another good benefit about this, these are your cummerbunds. And they basically pull out just like this. Now, a combination of tension on the Velcro, because Velcro is strongest when it's being pulled laterally, um, this allows you adjustment on the uh, cummerbund itself. You can place these on top of each other. So let's say this is the standard. If I need to take up some room, I can go like this. I can go like this. Uh, whatever I need to to actually adjust this to a little bit of fit. Now these are covered with pile on the top so I can set these down on the back in a normal position. 
And when these come back in, all I'm going to do is a real quick S fold and tuck them in, making sure that my handles are accessible. Now this little piece right here doesn't matter. You can tuck it in however you want. Real simple, not rocket scientist. So, this is one of our Molly panels. Now these can go front and back, front or back, however you want to set them up. If you notice they have hook, so I can actually set this over the top. Um, if I want, it'll help secure it so I can run gear on the front and back. Panels go both sides. To help secure these bags inside, we're using the ITW uh, Nexus Grimlocks. So we have loops on top, which actually hook into, let me set this right here. And all you're going to do is come in, set them around the straps, and help lock this in. Now, you want to try and line these little tabs up with these side pieces, so if you're carrying a really heavy load, You can still hook these through. And you can secure more weight on it than you have those on both sides. Now these are 6 and 12 inches. The other reason why we did this is because you could hook in various straps in through these tabs and to secure loads in the pack. So this is a very uh, universal system. So that's a real quick fix to handle that issue. The plate pouches. So we're going to go over to this side. Let me pull this. Out. Now, the pack will take a myriad of different size plates. So here we have a DKX Max 3 rifle rated plate, and you can see the thickness. Veterans Manufacturing 3A pistol plate, AR5000 steel plate, and a Veterans Manufacturing uh, 12 by 14 soft plate. Now we wanted to show you that this will fit up to a 12 by 14 plate up to 2 inches thick. And we're measuring the 2 inches from a flat surface to the top of the apex of the curve. So you can fit a lot of space in here. Even with soft armor, you can layer it up. So you have your soft armor trauma pad in the back and your steel plate in front. The armor is inserted in the plate pocket. And here's your plate pouch. Now, this is a really good point, and I'm going to show you something here before we decide uh, how to put the plates in. Now, this vest can be worn numerous ways. So, if I have my backpack, and let's just uh, use the imagination machine here, and the backpack is closed up, and I have no tactical equipment inside, and I'm using it for just a regular backpack. I can unzip it, dump all the contents out, and throw the bag up over myself just like this. Now, you'll see why we put that outside Velcro pouch. I can reach here and draw. The other benefit to this is this does not look uh, threatening. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a vest. It looks like I have a backpack slung over my body. But, in fact, I do actually have a ballistic vest. So, where do we put our little straps? Our waist straps will pull around from behind and wrap around the front. Now, since I have a panel in here, I would unzip this, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and invert it, thereby exposing my Molly panel. Now, these are actually, we put these on the uh, front side just to kind of show you how they go, but these would actually be on the back side. You would just pull them out and Velcro them onto the vest like this. So we're going to go over to our assistant here. Um, now, we have this already set up, and we're going to start on the back here real quick. Um, you can see that this actually has the cummerbunds in the correct position on the back panel. So when he pulled out, he reached back and pulled out the cummerbunds, brings them forward. Now moving towards the forward of the bag, you can see he's got his shoulder straps, he's got his front plate panel. Now we do have attachment points for firearms right here, and we try to keep everything simple off of the shelf. No need, no need to waste money. 
You can see how the cummerbunds attach on the front. He's got access to his pouches. He's got his placarding. And there's an example of the clips right here and right here up on the shoulders. So, when determining how you're going to wear your pack, if you're not going to wear any tactical equipment, and you can see how easy this breaks apart, so you can change your loadout, you can change your equipment really easy. Um, if you have no tactical equipment inside and you're using the polyethylene, Non-metallic plates, they are approved for TSA travel. And real quick, I'm just unhooking all of my clips. Peeling that panel right off. You can buy multiple panels and have different loadouts set up, ready to go. So if I'm not wearing any equipment, I want the curve of my plate to, to go towards the outside of the bag. So we'll select the steel plate. And I'm going to put it towards the curve. And what I mean the curve, as I look at the plate, as the plate starts to curve up, so here's the apex of the plate, this side of the plate will go to the outside of the pack. Slide it up in there. I'm going to take the bottom of the plate bag, this handle so you can help pull it down. And I'm going to tuck it up inside and Velcro it down. Now I have plenty of room in this pouch, so if I want to add in soft armor, I'm going to take my soft armor panel and I'm going to add it in on top of my steel. Once again, I'm going to take my panel and tuck it in. So now I have steel with a 3A uh, ballistic backing. So now, if I were to use this as a regular backpack, I dump all my stuff up. When I go to put it on, the curve of my plate is now towards the outside, so this fits the way it's supposed to. If I'm going to take the pack, and I'm going to expose the pack so the molly panels are on the outside, I'm going to reverse the process. So I'm going to make sure that my curve goes towards the inside of the pack. So we're just going to do this on the outside. Slide in my plate. Close up my pouch. And this would be how I would set them in if I was going to wear the pack just like this so I could have access to the molly panels and gear. So as you can see this thing is very very modular. Now, standard simple shoulder straps, and we're going to go back to our assistant. So you want to make sure that the height of the plate sits right below the collarbone here. And you want to make sure that the back plate sits equally proportionate to your body style. Now you have a lot of adjustments on these plates, and you can adjust the straps down into the plate and put the molly panel over the top. So that's why we set this uh, gentleman up. So you're going to show the proper fit of the vest. Now, a couple of tricks. If I'm not carrying any uh, tactical equipment and I'm traveling with family members or with friends, whatever the case may be, I do not have to have the shoulder strap in place. They're like, well, why would you do that? Well, let's tuck these in. And all I'm doing is I'm taking the Velcro part and I'm tucking it in to the Velcro on the bottom of the pack. Now, why I would do this? If something happens, and let's say I have a lot of gear in the pack, I unzip it, I drop that bulk, and now I have a lighter, and this is how you would use it if you only had the one ballistic panel in the back. So now I have a lighter piece that I can easily move around. And I have my ballistic screen right here. If I'm there with someone else, 
Now they have another panel that they can use. So my back turned into two ballistic screens. Now this is obviously beneficial for our family, whatever the case. Um, and we wanted to make this as user friendly as possible. So there's another reason for that handle in the front. Well, that's pretty much it for the pack. And obviously if you've worn tactical equipment, make sure you know how your gear works. Make sure it's set up correctly and you're comfortable with it. That way when you go to deploy it, um, and we're going to cover that here in just a second. You know what you're doing. So let's set all of these aside. Different deployment styles. So we have our bag set up right here. Obviously, standing up is the worst thing to do when getting shot at. So whenever possible, and one of the reasons why, um, we've had a bunch of questions, I can throw this up real quick and duck behind something and use it as protection. It's another reason why if I have it on the shoulder I can take this and put it like this and at least put this ballistic screen in front of me quickly because I've got both plates running to cover and of course I can take it get my shield up and run protecting my vitals. If I want to, uh, it is not hat friendly. I'm not that smart. I've tried everything. So, I'm going to grasp it in the back panel. So as the back comes off, I'm grabbing here. So I have this panel and I know point of reference. Here, on, coming back, out. All my uh, equipment is ready to go up front. Now this little uh, piece of strap right here is what we're using to secure firearms onto the plate so you can deploy them with you. Very simple. Alternate methods. Real quick, folding these back in, and you see how easy they go back in, making sure my handles are exposed. When you zip it back up, all you're going to do is top over the bottom, bottom over the top, it doesn't matter. You're going to line up your main zipper. You're just going to pull, twist, pull, twist, tucking in as you go. Bags back together, ready to go. Clean it up a little bit, and you're done. Throw it on your back like nothing happened, and you're good to go. Another